talking about my Celogyne Orchid Winter Care and how I've been caring for these ones. So I have three here. I, they're all um, Celogyne Cristata. Um, some might have like some, what's it called? Flacida parentage. I know that this one has some Flacida um, parentage. This is supposed to be Celogyne Janine Banks Snow White. I forgot the exact cultivar of this one. And this is Celogyne Unchained Melody. So these ones I've been keeping completely dry and cool during the winter as you're supposed to do. This one started developing a flower spike in the fall after receiving no dry and no cool winter rest. So I don't know what this one, why this one <laughs> decided to flower for me. Um, this is supposed to be a white flowering variety. It is. It was sold to me as Celogyne Unchained Melody, which is white flowering. The buds look a little bit like greenish gold or like bronze. So maybe I got a different orchid. We'll see when it flowers, but we're not gonna be watering this one today because it's already moist. It already is developing a flower spike. And the point of today is to kind of gradually take these out of its dry winter rest and to make it really cold because apparently snow is supposed to help um, initiate flower spikes. Now these orchids are from the Himalayas. They are, um, they are used to getting exposed to snow in their natural environment. That doesn't necessarily mean that you can grow them outside in the winter. They're just kind of used to like a gentle um, fall of snow. So we're going to be packing, or not packing, just like lightly putting some snow around the pseudo bulbs, and hopefully I'm just going to be adding it to until the sphagnum moss is moist. I want it to be moist. This guy, um, the these are the new pseudo bulbs that developed over the summertime, and they are smaller than the older pseudo bulbs. So I'm not really expecting these to flower this year. This one to flower this year. Obviously, I'll be really happy if it does. But I'm thinking I'm gonna need to repot it in the spring and give it some new medium, maybe different medium, and hopefully it likes that better. Right now I'm just, I'm gonna be covering it in snow because I really want the snow to um, seep way down into the medium and kind of touch those roots. It's okay if they're exposed to this cold. Like I said before, they get snow in their natural environment. And it is warm in my house. Oh, <laughs> Janine Banks fell over. Because I think last time I tried watering this with snow, the media didn't get wet at all, and I just kind of like dropped a few tablespoons on there. So I really want this to like really wet the media. All right, we'll try that for now. Now we'll put some snow on this guy. If you can see, the pseudo bulbs are very wrinkled. That is normal. They are supposed to get wrinkled in the winter time because if they plump up too much, the flower spikes will apparently not develop or not be able to like grow. Not entirely sure how that works. These orchids have only been in my care for a year. So um, this one is the only flower I've only been able to see this flower, um, these flowers, and they were beautiful and white, just like I wanted. These two, I still haven't seen the flowers yet. This one, I'm going to see them soon, so that's exciting. But this one, I haven't seen yet. And this, the pseudo bulb here that developed over the summer is a little bit shorter than the back bulbs but it's also a lot plumper, so I'm not really sure if that means if it liked my care or not. I don't know, if you're more familiar with these orchids, you can let me know. I'm still learning. I'm not like a pro at anything yet, so 
so I have <laughs> I have a whole mountain of snow. Um, I'm really hoping that this works. Maybe I'll get some flower spikes. Maybe I won't. But I'm gonna really try to get that in there because I really want it to seep several inches down into the media. That's what I want. So those roots really get something. <laughs> okay, now I'm now I'm. Now I'm doing too much. <laughs> That's okay. Well, that's okay. All right. Well, thank you for watching.